All right, guys, so, one second, mic on, yeah. So guys, guess what, we're in DC, uh, Virginia. Just a cool little trip I decided to take last minute, kind of a last minute thing. I hit up my, my buddy Peter from Ape Athletics, said, hey man, you know, why don't I drive up this weekend? You know, we can catch a lift at Barbell, or not Barbell, District, well, yeah, District Barbell, uh, catch up, you know, because we've talked a few times, we've met a few times, he's a cool guy. I really like him because he's very uh, business oriented. He's a great motivator. Uh, he's, you know, motivated in business and he's just an all around great guy. And also, cool thing is, my buddy Danny, Danny Gets Fit, if you remember him from, uh, the LA Fit videos, and if you know him from Instagram, which is right here, uh, go check him out for sure. He has an awesome, inspirational story of uh, weight loss transformation. Great guy. Uh, he's actually here as well, so I thought, you know what? Two birds, one stone. Go see two pals. Have a great time. So we're here at District, and uh, let's see what's going on. What do you guys say to people, bro? What do you got? What do you got? If you could, Danny, if you could describe yourself in 10 seconds or less, what would you say about Danny Gets Fit? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, here we go. Well, uh, nothing. Okay. Yeah. I uh, know basically past like three years like really changed my life lost a bunch of weight 140 pounds and then started lifting realized fitness was a big part of my life met a couple friends along the way I mean I think that's something that, like a lot of us like go through is like you know we start working out yeah and like we have our own reasons here's weight loss mine was because like I broke my ankle when I was running so I was like needed something all the time and then it just progresses into something that's like you know, it becomes yeah. a hobby, then it becomes a lifestyle, and eventually it becomes like, you know, friends you meet, it become family. Like, yeah. it's just, it's just, it's just a great thing. And like, that's why I think like a lot of channels, they, my problem right nowadays is like, I see like a lot of channels just pop up out of nowhere, and they'll claim to do things, but like, they don't stand by the word. But like, when you meet actual people who are like, very genuine to the word, you get to meet them, you get to see how they actually react in real life, as opposed to on, you know, camera. You can actually see like, most of these people are genuine people who are just in it for the lifestyle, they're in it for the, like, to meet the people, it's, it's amazing. So like Danny right here, I met him what, at the LA Fit Expo. I met you at the- Originally LA Fit. LA Fit Expo, we kind of interacted, not, yeah. not too much, because I was kind of with like- That's where we met, too. Yeah, that's where we met. And then we got to know each other more at the uh, Arnold. That's, yeah. yeah, we like, hung out more, we got to know each other more, and that's when I got to see who he is, because I, I, I followed him on social media when I first started living. I was like, oh, okay, this is a great story, you know? I think I told you that too, I'm like, oh, you know, I, yeah. I followed you, and I followed like Taylor and all that, like a long time before I even really yeah, talked to him. And then you get to meet them, and it's just like, these people are literally genuine people, as opposed to like, I'm not gonna- I was chubby at the end. <laughs> hey, yo, so was I. <laughs> like, if we could insert a picture here of like, I think we have a picture of all of us lying together, yeah. I think you're next to each other. Insert that picture here, or go to my Instagram. We were kind of, I was a little chubby too, but like, as opposed to people who, I'm not going to name names, but I've met people on YouTube who claim to be very friendly, outgoing, and I meet them and they're just like very like, well, what can you do for me? And I'm like, well, I'm just trying to be your friend, man. I'm not trying to do anything for you right now. Yeah. So it's like, it's cool. Anyways, off that fucking rant. <laughs> off that like hardcore rant. We're going to get into it. Let's, let's get to workout right now. The faster we're falling, we're stopping and stalling. We're running in circles again. Just as things were looking up, you said it wasn't good enough, but still we're trying one more time. Well, maybe we're just trying too hard, when really it's closer than it is too far. Cause I'm in too deep and I'm trying to keep up above in my head, instead of going under. Cause I'm in too deep and I'm trying to keep up above in my head. All right, guys, so I'm here with Peter from Ape Athletics. Peter, if you could uh, describe yourself in like 10 seconds, you know, what would you say? Um, I am an older fitness guy. Um, I own Ape Athletics. Uh, Co-own District Barbell. Have the most fire, most lit IG stories ever. Um, plug your Instagram. Oh, you want to plug? Oh, I didn't want to do that, but if, since he said it. <laughs> P-T-R-T-R-A-N. Peter. Peter. So Pete, Peter Tran. Just point like right there, if you're right there. Right, right, right here, yeah, right, there. right here. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Is it still private? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not private anymore. That's so. You used to be part of that private squad. Private squad? Yes, thank you for coming out to Lyft, Tony. Drove, how long you drove? 
Fucking four hours. Yeah, fuck. I've been up for like probably 24 hours now. That's hard work so. and dedication, guys. Follow that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is a great workout here, as always. Probably, sadly, maybe the last time I might be here. I might try to squeeze in one more trip before I do get relocated to Pensacola, Florida. But, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's always great to meet like-minded people and uh, get lifted in with them. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and go check out these guys for sure. Hell yeah.